mall here. It's just carnal. Nah, they got a stop sign. And then another. Yo, it's a nice day today. I think I got up to about, I think I got up to like 53 or something. I just got out the movies. Taking y'all for a little walk, yo. Anybody, will, I'll, I'm gonna post this, I guess. People can join me on my walk. Just walking down. Yo, there was this movie, it was called, uh, I don't even, I don't even remember what it was called. It was Will Ferrell. And, uh, Check out my, I got a goatee. Look at my goatee. <laughs> I let my hair grow out. I look different, don't I? <laughs> so I've seen this movie. Um, Will Ferrell, Julianne Dreyfus, I think her name is. They went and had some skiing trip. It bombed real hard. It was, it was horrible, though, for real. It was like my pants is falling down. I'm freaking losing weight like crazy. Not really. I was 250 this morning. Let's see if you can see me in that window. You see my reflection in that window. Yeah, the doctors back in the day they said that I had borderline diabetes. <clears throat> and then uh you know, so I was, you know, I was like watching my diet and everything. And uh, went to the doctors last week. And they took my blood, they took my sugar level when I was fasting. And they said it was perfect. They said I didn't have, that didn't have diabetes at all. Right? I think I, uh, it's my diet, you know? Like, be surprised how many people like I can eat whatever I want really I don't know I said they said it's the lady said it didn't have diabetes I'm drinking a soda right now I don't know I was just feeling like a soda I was like man yeah. oh my god check this out I used to take walks here the last time it was warm outside check this out yo I'm not gonna start eating sugar all the time or anything. But I, I got some Coca-Cola. There used to be a building here. Last time I was here, they were just starting to tear it down. It's all gone now. It took them all that time, I, I don't know. Like, there was a big building there. But there's Whole Foods over there. Just chilling, you know. I'm not gonna start eating a lot of, a lot of sugar and stuff, but Shit, if I don't have diabetes. It's all about the diet, though, man. I got these theories, these hypotheses, yo. Kind of makes sense, though, if you add science to it. There used to be a building here. Look, there's an overpass here. Look, the mall's over there. There's just some office buildings or something here. Uh, Howard County, Maryland, United States. People be watching this overseas, yo. It's crazy if I if I post this thing on, if I post it up on uh, YouTube, these videos, <clears throat> people be watching it from overseas. It be like it's crazy. Like I'm thinking, man, you know, how can I do this safely? You know, so like I'm not gonna film anywhere around my house or anything. But there's millions of people that live stream like this, you know, all over the whole world. Millions and millions of people. The, the, you know, but it is still scary. You'd imagine you don't see it on the news. You'd imagine, like, you don't see it on the news or anything. So you think it's safe. But the fact is, man, if you think about it, um, every single day, 2,000 people in this country go miss. Every single day, it said on the... I looked it up. I did some research. They said that... They said every day, 2,000 kids go missing every day. That's what they said. And uh, that's what the, that's what I did research. That's what it said on a couple different sites. And uh, the news will have one story every six months about a missing person. And there's 2,000 people, 2,000 kids go missing every day. 
and they have one story on the news about it every six months. So if it makes sense to you, follow your instincts, you know? So I'm gonna be safe no matter what. Cause like, you, you think about it, man. Although there's millions of people that live stream, like, yo, it's dangerous. Like, you gotta be careful what you say, you know? And then like, like if, if anybody wanted to find me or something for some, you know, I'm a peaceful man, but I had, yeah, that's what I should do. I don't know. Yeah. Why don't I research like the dangers of, if I talked to a couple people and stuff that did it, you know, my brother did a lot of research on it. They were saying that uh, they got this thing called SWAT. They SWAT people. So like the people that live stream from their houses, if they expose where they live at, their, at their address, they'll, they'll call in bomb threats to the person's house. It's called swatting. And then the SWAT team shows up, they kick down the door, and then they, they, they try to do it when they're live streaming. It's pretty crazy, huh? Yo, I grew a goatee. <laughs> I grew my hair. I haven't had a haircut in three months. Yo. I'm down here. Check this out. Chilling at the lake, yo. Man, my arm's starting to get tired of holding this phone. <clears throat> he was running right at me. It was pretty funny. I'm like, okay, what? <laughs> I was like, what's going on here? <laughs> I'd be okay. I'm strong. I can handle it. Do do do. I used to come down, I came down here like a, like when it was like, uh, it was like around this time last year, I think it was. When it started to get warm outside, I would come here and do some live streaming. I got about 40% battery power, but I got a brand new phone. I just got it like three months ago, two months ago, three months ago or so. So I got, it's a, it's a brand new battery pretty much. So it'll last a while, but I'm gonna switch hands here. Yo, did y'all know you can take pictures on iPhones with the volume button? So that you can hold it and then you just hit the volume button, the volume up button, I think, or I think it might be both of them, but you can take a picture doing that. Lake, you can see this highway in the background. You can see the cars, that's 29 back there. My parents moved here a long time ago, long time ago. I've been chilling around, you know, off and on in Howard County for a long time, like 40 years, nah, 30 years since I was a kid. Chilling, chilling, yo. I'm gonna walk down to the lake. I'm gonna switch this around again. See them live streamers on YouTube? I'm just doing this for my friends on Facebook. But those live streamers on YouTube, they uh, it's like this. A couple people's name popped up on here, and they like, they talk to people. Like they'll like they'll like interact with. They call it a chat, and like, it's like a chat room. And then they'll interact with it and like say, how you doing? And then messages, people like write messages like, how you doing? And it's all these, it's like people just talking about all kinds of stuff. This is just Facebook right here. Just been chilling. I'll put this on uh I'll put this up on YouTube.
It's a beautiful day. Just chilling. Doo -doo -doo. The guy at the movie theater, he uh, he always says hi to me. I've been going there for like four years now. Like I go there like, like I go there all the time, a couple times a week. <clears throat> I think he's like the boss or something there. And uh, he says, "How you doing, my friend?" He says, "How you doing?" And I'm like, "Hey, what's up?" He said, "Oh, you grew, you grew your hair, you grew your hair." And he said, "He said I like it." I was like, "Yeah." I said, "Does it?" I asked him, I said, does it make me look different? He said, no, no, I can still recognize you, like he was saying. Huh. Yo, my Taekwondo master guy, one of my Taekwondo masters. He said, I got the intimidation factor. So he said, he put me at the front door at the, at the tournament tournaments, Taekwondo tournament. He said, I got the intimidation factor. He's like seventh degree, seventh degree black belt. World certified. He probably certified in all the different worldwide federations, plus the Hapkido ones probably as well. I'm a good guy, really, to tell you the truth. I'm a Quaker, actually. To, to actually, to be a Quaker, you can't be a Quaker, actually, technically. Because it, it's basically, it's like you're having your own connection with God. So, like, they said, all I got to do to be a Quaker is believe in God. And I said, I don't have beliefs. I said, because I don't. I said, all my hope and faith is towards God and monotheism because that's what makes sense to me. But they said, that's good enough, you know. So, like, am I the only real Quaker? Like, because, like, if you believe in any, if, like, like, it's all about, like, having your own connection. I guess we could meet on the same level somehow, you know. Like a lot, like when I go to the meetings and stuff, like it's like uh, everybody seems to meet in peace for something, you know what I mean? Like, but it's not like mandatory, so it's something you really can't explain. Quakerism, this is something you could just experience, really. It's, it's when you experience it, you know, it's just you can't put it into words, you really can't because it's, it's the Quakerism is undefined, it's an undefined journey you know searching for a religious truth you know it's freedom of religion really and a true freedom of religion is individual it's in indiv it's each individual is free to have their own connection with god and the holy spirit or whatever they want to believe like like there's like people that are like they believe in like just like a powerful energy like and that's what they call god you know um some people think it like that god's inside of a human somewhere like some people think that they're it's funny because there's like all these like universal truths that we kind of come face to face with, but long time ago, George Fox was in England and everybody had their own idea that everybody was, they were like forcing these beliefs upon people like, and like everybody, each division of, of Christianity had its own, its own definition. It's, they, they define they would define religion and, and so it was like okay so George Fox you know he started like pulling people that wanted the freedom to believe what they wanted have their own connection you know search, it's, it's a society of friends in search of religious truth so and that's the whole thing they just we're always searching for religious truth and we just so it's something you really can't you can't put it in the words you know you know you, you just have to experience it like to really understand it. It comes in silence, not in a flawed language created by humans not too long ago. It's like a, a spiritual connection, a, a energy, a, you know. But that's what it is for me, you know. Um, see, like I said, you can't put it in the words. You really can. You combine a bunch of universal truths and factors where should I go? I'm going to go talk to these guys over here. These guys are pretty cool. These are the guys that uh, that founded. Uh, these guys founded Columbia, I think is what they are. They're pretty cool. When you walk up on them, they're like, they're literally like, they, that's the exact size. And like, look at this. They feel like, like when you stand here, it feels like it's a real person. It's so eerie. I mean, it literally, it's like these guys are standing here. It trips me out. Like, 
Look, look how realistic that looks. I mean, it looks like a real person. It's so weird. I feel like it's somebody standing there. It's like, here we go, watch. Hold on, watch this. Look, see if I can get, oh, hold on, I gotta, I gotta turn the camera, hold on. It's eerie, it's like, that's why people, when they walk in the department stores and uh, you walk in the department stores, you see a mannequin and it, <clears throat> it's, uh, look, it feels like there's somebody standing there. Look at my face, look, look, it's the same size. Like this is the actual size of this dude's head. You know what though, but I'm not crazy. Somehow there might be a person there. Why, why not? They could do it somehow. Why couldn't they? Think about it. Why couldn't there be people with some kind of mask on? They, they could stiff, they breathe real easy. They could be breathing through back here and this could just be like a, a shell that they put over a person so they could still breathe. It could be a shell and they could be breathing through back here so you don't hear it. They could use noise cancellation technology so you can't like actually hear breathing or anything. And just cover these people with uh with a solid surface like that. And there could actually be people standing here. But everybody knows that it's fake. I don't know it's fake. It looks fake. I'm gonna treat it like it's but I'm also gonna be careful because what if it was? You know? And that's why my generation takes over the mental health system. I'm gonna be on top of it. Because everybody knows their name. Everybody stands here and knows that this is fake, but you really don't, dude. Think about it. Who knows, right? Actually, the truth of uh, everything is just complete silence because you got to let it be what it is. Our, our definitions don't define. And nothing's ever been defined. Science is the highest level of knowing we have. And science knows nothing. They can't prove anything right. They try to prove it wrong and then they call it a theory, but it's not a fact. They'll call it a scientific fact. Why? Because they can't. Actual facts are only connected to what? Actual facts are connected to an exaggeration of, of languages as we interact with people. There's so much unknown. Like everything actually connects with everything else. So you'd have to know everything in the whole universe to know anything. Even God, I can't see how even a God would even know everything. It's like, there could be powerful illusions when you come to extremely high levels of technology and physical understanding, like a, like a super powerful God. Like that's everything, everywhere, all the time, you know? You realize that there's no such thing as time. Time is a measurement.